Hello, my name is Joe Murray. I'm a gastroenterologist at the Mayo Clinic and I specialize in celiac disease. Today we're talking about a recent publication that looks at the risk of lymphoma in people with celiac disease. This large study um, from collaborators in New York, Sweden and uh, the Mayo Clinic studied a large database of patients in Sweden who had a diagnosis of celiac disease and then underwent a subsequent follow-up biopsy, over 7,000 patients. And they looked at whether these patients had an increased risk of lymphoma and they found that as previous studies had shown that people with celiac disease when followed up did have an increased risk of lymphoma. They went on to see if the healing of the intestine predicted that risk. And indeed they found that those patients who had not healed their intestine, so they had continued inflammation in the intestine, had a significantly increased risk of lymphoma. Whereas those patients who had healed their intestine, their risk of lymphoma was not significantly greater than the general population. They found about 40%, a little over 40% of patients who had a follow-up biopsy had not healed. Now what have we learned from this study? We can learn two things. One, healing is not universal in people with celiac disease. And this we've known from other studies that perhaps as many as 50 or 60 percent of people diagnosed as adults do not heal their intestine uh, by two years after going on a gluten-free diet. And there are many potential reasons for this. One could be low-level gluten contamination. Another could be just slow healing may be a condition that affects people who've had celiac disease a long time and were not diagnosed into adulthood. Or perhaps there are other reasons why the intestine has not healed. The second thing is that following people up with a biopsy may be helpful to determine what their future risk of complications are. And while it's not a universal practice, it certainly has been my practice, to recommend follow-up biopsies after two years of a gluten-free diet in patients who've been diagnosed as adults. We have assumed that most children who are diagnosed with celiac disease heal more rapidly than the adults do. That is, however, an area of renewed research. So what should a person with celiac disease do? Well, certainly they need to continue to be gluten-free. They should have medical follow-up and this work would suggest that perhaps there might be some use for a follow-up biopsy to determine what their future risks might be. Overall, however, even though there is an increased risk of lymphoma, it's not a great absolute risk. There will undoubtedly be more work um, to follow in understanding how and when and why people um, heal their intestine with celiac disease. And indeed, there are clinical trials of newer agents to try and help patients achieve complete healing of the intestine.